assalamu alaikum how are you learners this is my fourth lecture part 2 class 5 subject english language topic this morning is our history test in this session we will talk about the answer question and the rest of exercise of the poem this morning is our history test answer the following questions the first question is which item of clothing did the children write notes on answer the items of clothing the children write notes on are inside his coat and possibly in his socks and sleeves question b find two phrases to show that the child has written uh, the child has written the notes in such a way that others will not be able to read them answer the two phrases are that only i can understand and the second phrase is in secret code in a secret code in a secret code question c what emotions does the child usually feel about a test answer the child says he was not nervous was not scared so we can presume that presume that there are the emotions he usually feel before a test question d why can't or why can't the child read the notes answer the child couldn't read the notes because he left his classes at at his home he left his classes at home e is it a good idea to cheat in exams what should one do instead of cheating answer It is not good idea to cheat in exams one should study instead of cheating Is it a good idea to cheat in exams what should one do instead of cheating answer it is not good idea to cheat in exams one should study instead of cheating question f this poem uses exaggeration to create humor which things that the child says he has done are unlikely to be true in your opinion learners pick out is a exaggeration like all the winners of olympic games and so on question g if the child had written all these notes would be or she would he or she need it, need to cheat right answer of your own question h is there a norm is there a moral to this left to this poem so learners find out the moral what can what it can be about the poetry look at the rhyme scheme of the poem which lines rhyme now come on textbook page number 23 to find out the rhyming scheme of the poem the rhyming scheme of the poem is uh this morning is our history test and west test and west uh, have the same sound so these lines uh, we can name these lines a a in line number 2 and 3 notes and chords are two rhyming words have the same sound we can uh, give name to these two lines b b a a b b line number 5th and 6th have the same sound at the end of line like hand or understand the name of these two lines is c c line number 7th and 8th stored and cord have the same rhyming words or have the same sound the name of these lines is d d so the rhyming scheme of this poem is a a b b c c and d d number 2 copy the rhyming scheme pair into your notebook so i have told you i have told you that the rhyming uh, scheme of this poem is uh, a a b b c c and d d so 
the sounds that uh, the words that have same sound are rhyming scheme pair find out from the poem and note down in your notebooks number 3 a syllable is a single sound the word test has one syllable the word history has three syllable like history can you count the syllable each line of the poem count the syllables of the poem of each line number 4 which two lines have one extra syllable which phrases do they both contain now come on answer the following questions with reference to context the lines are inside my coat i wrote my notes including dates and famous quotes question list five topics that the notes were about list five topics that the notes were about the notes were about dates famous quotes buildings people places ancient rome or ancient greece b which phrase from these lines is repeated elsewhere or where the phrase dates and famous quotes is repeated in the final stanza part b comparisons when we compare things in english we use the words as as or like such as as dry as a bone like a dry bone here are some more uh, well known comparisons as cool as a cucumber as dead as a door nail as cold as a stone as fierce as a tiger as firm as rock as changeable as the weather match the idioms given above with the description given below a person who is sure about what he thinks a person who is sure about what he thinks as firm as rock a person who keeps calm as cool as cucumber a person who acts fiercely as bold as a lion something which is definitely not alive as dead as a door nail a person who shows no feelings or emotions as cold as ice a person who changes moods easily as changeable as the weather part c conjunctions prepositions and interjections in exercise c2 on page 20 you read about the sword in the stone here is a continuation of the story make list of conjunctions prepositions and interjections in the passage below make a list of conjunction preposition and interjection separately and write uh, write the words of conjunction in conjunction list write preposition in preposition list and write interjection in interjection list articles copy the following passage into your notebook adding articles where necessary there are three articles a an or the a or an are indefinite articles while the is definite article put articles in the given fill in the blanks and complete the passage okay learners allah hafiz